Is this the government's sellout over the Lokpal bill? Headlines today is in exclusive possession of the bill which has just been passed by the select committee of the Rajya Sabha without a single dissent. Note, the committee headed by the Congress's Satyavrat Chaturvedi has managed to change the contours of the Lokpal bill without promising, without compromising on the basic consensus within political parties. Interestingly, while most of the chief objections raised by opposition parties during the debate in the Rajya Sabha last year seem to have been met somewhat by the bill, the chief concerns raised by civil society have not been changed, not been addressed at all. Well, to start off with, the new Lokpal bill is recommended as a model bill for the states for framing their own Lokpal bills. This meets the concern of parties like Srinamool and AIADMK, which, remember, were opposed to the bill being mandatory on them. The next step has been to address the concern of the BJP over the reservation of 50% of the Lokpal for scheduled castes, scheduled tribes and minorities. That operative word has now been changed to representative. Finally, the concern of the Samajwadi Party and the RJD over the Lokpal having sweeping powers to prosecute civil servants has also been alleviated by the Select Committee's bill. However, the chief demands of the anti-corruption brigades led by Anna Hazare and Arvind Kejriwal remain ignored by the government keeping the CBI independent of the government's control or giving the Lokpal powers to prosecute civil servants with the exception being bringing the Prime Minister under the ambit of the Lokpal. Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi has gone 3D ahead of the upcoming state elections in December. Modi made a virtual appearance in four cities of Gujarat on a 3D holographic projection, making him the first politician anywhere in the world to use such technology in an election campaign. Modi's grand experiment of a 3D speech, though marred by audio glitches, didn't prevent him from sharpening his attack on Sonia Gandhi and the Congress party. In his speech, Modi took on the Congress for comparing him to a monkey in rats. He said he is honored for being compared to the messengers of God. I am a मने गुजरात नी सेवा करवा मिली छे अने आ 6 करोड़ मारा गुजराती भाइयों बहनों ये मारे माटे राम नु स्वरूप छे अने हु एमनो हनुमान छु वानर छु अने हु एमनी सेवा मर रहो एक नेता है तो कयो ये मोदी तो चूहा है चूहा सुंदर छे मेहरबान आ उंदर रा मात में ने तुम्हें जानता नहीं अरे उंदर तो Remember, Congress leaders in the past have taken jibes at Modi, calling him all kinds of names in the past. Arjun Modi, Modwadia, the chief of the Congress in Gujarat, called him a monkey, while Hussein Dalvi had called him a rat. <laughs> जार ऊपर चढ़ी ने के सिंह ने के ऊपर आ ऊपर आ अरे सिंह ऊपर जाए तो जंगल में राजा थी और अपने आप को सरदार पटेल के नाम से बोलना कहा सरदार पटेल और कहा ये चूहा well, Modi's new 3D avatar has, however, met with a mixed response from target audiences, while his ardent supporters are only too pleased with this technological marvel. Others seem to condemn it as a waste of state resources. Now, Jyot Singh Sidhu, however, seems to think Narendra Modi is the only one who can save the day for the BJP. Congress wale jitne bhi kudne wale kudne ro Modi aane wala hai aane wala hai aane hi wala hai when you look at the situation of Gujarat there are more than 10 lakh uh, educated youth who are unemployed plus uh, the education rate has been gone down the dropout rate has been increased so uh, the political party who is in power who should work for people uh, instead of working on these parameters they are projecting themselves in a uh, i mean in a very costly way, you can say. And I would like election commission also to watch, uh, to keep a watch on it, like the, to keep a watch on the expenses that are being incurred for this. Vikyan ne insan ka jeevan dirg kar diya hai. Lekin aaj 
मोदी सर ने उसी विज्ञान का सहारा लेके दिलों को जोड़ा है लोगों को जोड़ा है गुजरात को जोड़ा है आकाश की कोई सीमा नहीं पृथ्वी का कोई तोल नहीं साधु की कोई जात नहीं और पारस और नरेंद्र मोदी का कोई तोल नहीं